Hello, guys today we are going to create a smoke trail of aerial explosion. I had already made a tutorial on main explosion, I will give a link in the description, please watch that first then watch this. This is my reference video from Action VFX. Link in the description, you can check it out. Going to Houdini, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you found my channel helpful you can also support me on Patreon. Link in the description, go and check it out. So most of the nodes we are going to copy from the main explosion simulation. Take a sphere node and set the primitive type to the polygon. Reduce the uniform scale to 0.2. Increase the frequency to 5 to get more subdivisions. Take a noise QL node. Reduce the amount to 0.25 and make the value 0 on the y-axis of the final amplitude. Take a remesh node and set the target size to 0.1. Take a wrangle node and write this code. We are going to create a velocity attribute with the reference of normal. Now take a vector randomize node. Turn on the set axial parameter and increase the axial roof value to 10. Let's visualize the velocity of what this node is doing. Adjust the ramp something like this. Turn on set radial parameter and increase the axial roof value to 2. Adjust the ramp something like this. Now go to aerial explosion and copy pop net node and paste it after vector randomize node. Currently, you can see the trails are too thick, let's adjust some of the parameters. Go to the pop source node and increase the life expectancy to 0.9 and life variance to 0.3. Go to pop replicate and increase the life expectancy to 0.8. Go to the attribute tab and reduce the inherent velocity to 0.1. Also, reduce the variance to 1.8 along all axes. Now if you play, you can see nice trailing is happening. Let's add some noise and air resistance. Take a pop wind node. Turn on group and select stream pop replicate one. If you had changed the name of the replicate node then select a matching name. Increase the air resistance to two. Increase the amplitude to one and swirl size to 0.5. Let's play and see how it looks. Perfect. Now go to aerial explosion again and copy all the nodes from after point replicate and paste it here.
select point replicate and go to the shape tab. In the velocity stretched menu select none. Reduce the uniform scale to 0.46. Now in the pyro source delete the fuel and temperature attribute and create a new density attribute. Delete the attribute wrangle. In the volume rasterize attribute add density. Cache the source to disk. Go inside dot network. Here, we don't have a fuel attribute so delete it and instead of fuel let's add density. Animate the density scale. Frame till 1025 we should keep the density value 1 until frame 1035 it should go to 0. In the smoke object, we can turn off the multi field and turn on the density field. Let's play and see how it looks. As you can see, the emission of density gets fades off till frame 1035. And after that, we get nice swirly turbulence. Cool, let's cache it to disk till frame 1100. Let's preview this. So the time shift will automatically speed up the initial frame to get a quick boom. In the post process make the smoke color to white. As you can see, there is a bit offset in the smoke trails, let's add a transform and do a manual fix.
while moving the trails make sure to view from a camera angle. If you like this tutorial make sure to hit the like, share and subscribe button. You can also support me on Patreon.